Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to find the molecular mass of aluminum sulfate. It's fairly straightforward. Let's take a look at this table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just write down the elements that I have. So I have aluminum, I have sulfur, and I have oxygen. Next is to write the number of atoms of each in this uh, compound. So that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of aluminum, there is a two, that means that there are two aluminum. Now in terms of sulfur, sulfur is part of sulfate, which is a polyatomic compound. In this particular compound, you have three sulfates. And there's one sulfate here, excuse me, there's one sulfur, I should say, in each sulfate. And therefore, we can simply take the subscript of sulfur and multiply it by then the subscript of the sulfate to find the total sulfur, right? You got one sulfur in one sulfate, but you got three sulfates. So that means that there should be three sulfurs. Right, sulfate, sulfur, I'm even confused. Now oxygen, all we're simply gonna do is do the same process. Uh, we take these subscripts here and we basically multiply them together to find a total of 12. Remember, inside of one sulfate, there's gonna be four oxygens, but you have three sulfates. So if you have three of these things and each of them contains four oxygen, then that means that there are 12 oxygen overall. And that takes care of that. Next, we're gonna then multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each particular element uh, in the compound. So this is where the periodic table comes into play. So we scroll on over here and we find the masses that we need. Now these masses down here will represent either gram per mole if you're finding molar mass or AMU if you're finding molecular mass. So aluminum is 26.98, sulfur is 32.07, and oxygen is about 16. So let's write them down. So 26, so we got 26.98. This is about 32, right? 0 0.07 I think it was. Let's just double check, cool. Sometimes you know the memory can go at these late hours. And uh, the oxygen here is about 16. Now, depending upon if you use this table or another table, the numbers be ever might be so slightly, slightly different, but that's just because where we decide to round. Next, we're gonna then multiply the uh, row on a cross to find then the total mass of the element in the compound. So when we take two and we multiply it by the 26.98, we're gonna come up with the total amount of aluminum here to be 53.96. For sulfur, when we multiply this together, we're gonna to find a total amount of sulfur about 96.21. And then for oxygen, we take 12 and multiply by 16, and that works out to be about 192. Next then to find, and finally, to find then that total mass of the compound, all we have to simply now do is add up this column. See how nice and simple that is? So when we add that together, we get a value of about 342.17. And since we're finding molecular mass, the units down here are in AMU, atomic mass units. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. All right, we'll see you in the next video. We got thousands of solved solutions out there for you. Take care.